All right, on today's video, we're gonna be checking out the beard and hair straightener from Aberlite. It's the EDC, Everyday Carry. I don't know if that's what that stands for or not, but uh, this is my first experience using Aberlite, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So welcome, my name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I use the beard straightener for special occasions, and then sometimes I'm going through a particular phase where I like to uh, use it a lot. But these days, just on an everyday basis, I don't use it, but I have used it here. I wanna walk you through the steps in just a minute. Hopefully here on the sign, we'll do a picture-in-picture -picture or a side-by-side -side or something something here in just a minute. But I picked this up actually for my dad because I ha I use a Kushal bar, um, which is actually the exact same size as this as far as the uh, the, the heat elements. Um, and I couldn't find another one of those. So I was like, well, let me check out Amberlite. I've always wanted to uh, try them out. So I got this from Amazon. It was $49.99 plus tax. Um, so very reasonable. I think the prices on these might have come down a little bit from when they first came out. But a couple of extra things that the Kushal bar doesn't have is extra little rubberized uh, protection here because the back of uh, this uh, thing gets pretty warm. And then this one's got a variable heat control. I know the Kusha Bar Pro uh, has that as well. So um, first thing I did is I put a little beard oil in, let that soak in, and then I turned on the uh, amber light here. So it, you plug it in, it's blinking off, and then you turn it on. And you got 320, I hit it again, 360, hit it again, 400, hit it again, 430, and that's it. So those are your, your choices. So 250, 280, 320, 360, 400, and 430. So a lot of variability. I put it on 400 um, just because I had put it on something. I wanted to make sure that it was doing some work on that. And when you do it, you actually get to see what the heat, uh, how, how hot it is. So you get to see it uh, going up there and it goes up pretty fast. So just a couple of minutes, it will be exactly where you need it to be. Let me see if I can turn this thing back off. I did. Um, so a couple of things that I like to do a little bit differently than maybe some other folks that I've seen is I actually like taking uh, and picking my beard out um, because what I wanted to be able to do is I want to still go down straight with this. So I want to get as much hair as I can. So if I'm just, if everything's already kind of flat and I'm putting this in, I don't want to press too hard and, and create that uh, dip underneath my chin. So to alleviate that, plus kind of maximize the uh, potential here for what this beard brush is doing, I pick my beard and it's like going out this way at like a 45 degree angle. All right, so after it heats up, it's really easy. I just, I kind of do mine in three sections. So I do each side as a section. So the first side, I'll, I'll go through and do that. And then I will come right behind it and use a military brush because that really grabs all the hair and straightens them out. Because when you go through this, it's different, at least for most people, it's gonna feel a little bit different than a normal brush because um, the, the teeth are spread out a little bit more and plus it's hot. So it's like gonna go through too fast. So you wanna go slow, the slower is better. Um, you know, you don't wanna go super duper slow, but I don't think you're really gonna harm your beard unless you've got it on the high setting and you just leave it in one spot. But basically just kind of move it through uh, really, really slowly. And then if you, if your um, beard is not super long down here, you can either put your uh, hand behind it. Just have to be careful not to burn yourself. Or if you're, you've got a medium, short to medium beard, you can actually go sideways and use your face as like a back plate uh, to get some pressure um, because you want to try to get some, uh, everything filled up, all the hair you want to be in that brush as you can. So I do that one side, use the uh, military brush, use my hand kind of like a cold shot just to kind of lock everything in. All right, then I do the other side. Okay, and then I do the front. I don't do the front as much as the sides. Cause for me, I'm just doing this to try to tame this a little bit and get everything straighter, um, work with the flyaways. I still have dips and waves and all that kind of stuff because of the texture of my beard. Uh, occasionally, if this gets too long, it'll start going wonky and it probably looks wonky now, but I don't make a big deal about stuff in here. And then if I'm separating my mustache and I did it today just because I could, uh, I'm actually getting ready to go get my hair cut and trim this beard. So stay tuned uh, to the channel here so you can see me trim my beard. Uh, on the next video probably but I went ahead and just like showed how I would normally uh, separate my mustache it's not really trimmed for that right now but I've done videos where uh, you can separate your mustache into this a um, uh, little bit bigger style so if you're interested in that you can go back and check it out but a uh, really good experience here with the uh, the Aberlite EDC uh, I highly recommend it it's, it's pretty compact it's got a long uh, cord on it it's about a six foot cord now the type 
excuse me here, the type of cord is, is not the swivel cord. So it is kind of locked in place. And it's always aggravating for me in the bathroom with cords because I'm knocking over bottles of beard oil that, that's sitting there on my counter. So you have to be careful with that. But uh, otherwise, it works very well. I highly recommend it. Let me know if you've tried a, a heated beard brush and what kind you have tried and how that works for you. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.